Satellite imagery has revealed the huge amounts of flood water heading into the ocean and towards parts of the Great Barrier Reef after Queensland experienced more than two weeks of heavy rain. Well, joining me now is Jonathan Hare from ABC News Verify. And Jonathan, tell us about these images. What do they show? Yeah, so they've been captured by publicly available and commercial satellites that are orbiting around the world. And they're showing the massive amounts of flood water. And of course, flood water has lots of sediment in it as well that are going from uh, swollen rivers uh, as the, all the rainwater is uh, draining away and into the ocean. And then because of that, because of the location of where that heavy rain was, then towards the Great Barrier Reef. So we've got images uh, that show the before and after of the Burdekin River, for example, where the first image was taken on January 7th, 2025. And then the second image, which is much more stark, I'll add, uh, was taken on the 16th of February, 2025. And uh, it just shows the massive plume mm. of flood water that's going into that area. Of course, the Burdekin River is a massive catchment which has taken on a lot of that heavy rain and that's flowing out. Uh, this image as well, you can see the layers of the, uh, the layers of the sediment there that is flowing into that reef. Uh, the second image we have is taken from near Cardwell. So the river's north of Cardwell, another large catchment. This is north of Townsville. Uh, the first image taken in August last year showing what uh, that area should look like when there isn't any flood water going into that uh, part of the ocean. Uh, the second image there taken on the 6th of February, 2025. Uh, of course, you can see that massive plume of flood water heading into the ocean. There are some reefs in that part of the, in that part of the world as well. We've also got a, a third set of images. They come from Ingham. Uh, the first images were taken on in November 2024. Uh, so before this rain event started, you can see some athletics fields there uh, that uh, don't have any water at them at the minute. And then on the 6th of February, this second image was taken. You can see those cricket fields and soccer fields. Uh, they're completely underwater. We can also make out some cars that are driving through roads that have a little bit of water over them as well. Yeah, it's such a stark difference, particularly in those ocean shots you showed us there. Now, what kind of effect could this have on the Great Barrier Reef? So it does have an effect. The Great Barrier Reef, of course, it, it exists in salt water. It mm. isn't meant to have this amount of fresh water on it. Uh, there's also the concern of the sediment that flows in. It can block some of the light. I spoke to the uh, chief scientist from the Great Barrier Marine Park Authority, and he told me some of the concerns they have. The actual issue for particularly the coral reefs that, that, have, that are within the path of some of those flood plumes can be that you actually have a stress effect upon the corals. I mean, they're, they're, they're marine animals, they've they're, um, evolved to deal with salt water. And so when you get actually fresh water on them, it can actually cause stress effects like coral bleaching on um, in the worst scenario. But it's a, you know, it's a massive place. And even though these plumes are huge, they're being diluted as they move out into the marine part. But um, certainly we can see some uh, combination of effects as a result of that. Um, fresh water going out there as well. The sediment tends to be more of a longer term effect. Sometimes you can see in inshore areas smothering from those sort of things. Yeah, so the concern is that there may still be some rain on the way. There are some weather systems in the area that could cause more rain throughout northern Queensland. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority have put monitoring in place mm -hmm. to see what some of those long and short term effects will be.